what's going on Kasa here with another video today on how to modify your traits on remnant from the ashes if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber then you already know that every month we get free games and just so happens that in the month of March remnant from the ashes and Final Fantasy 7 remake are the free games of the month if you haven't picked up either one yet do yourselves a favor and go ahead and get them I highly recommend both of them before I begin if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content do me a huge favor subscribe like and share all your support only helps my channel grow with all that being said let's go ahead and get into the video remnant from the ashes is extremely similar to the dark souls franchise uh, uh bloodborne franchise in a multitude of ways uh, except for one like glaring difference um that being the traits uh whereas in pretty much any other souls born souls like game you got stat points and you just allocate them into stats or whatever the case is in this game um instead of just your typical stat tree what you have are traits now one could make the argument that you know the stats and the traits are pretty much the same thing but what i like about how they do it in this particular game is you know they affect very very specific aspects of your gameplay like your health your stamina you know how quickly you can uh vault over um obstacles um what else is there you got your stamina regeneration how quickly you consume uh your consumables and so on and so forth with all that being said the max level of each individual stat is going to be 20. with save wizard advanced mode you can actually surpass that and go all the way up to 250. I, as you can see here, went up to 100 in each individual stat. The reason being is literally because at 250, uh, he looked crazy as hell when he was reloading his weapon. When he vaulted, it looked like he was just teleporting all over the place. And, you know, it's just a, a, a multitude of things that led me to decide, you know, that made me decide, you know what, let me just lower the level down so I can make the experience playing this game a little bit normal even though I'm still using level 100 traits that you know obviously is normal in the first place now there's nothing wrong if you decide to use level 250 I'm just simply saying that from you know my personal experience 250 is absolutely overkill for example uh, like your reload speed at level 250 is like over 300 percent you don't need 300% reload speed it, 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 it's not necessary but again like I said it's all personal preference so that begs the question how do we use save wizard advanced mode to modify our traits well um, XIM mister you know who dropped a video a while ago demonstrating how to use save wizard advanced mode I'll make sure to leave a link to the video in the description box below what you're gonna see in the next clip is how I modified the traits using advanced mode as well sort of a tomato tomato kind of situation in that we're both achieving the same result just slightly different way of doing it so let's go ahead and check it out all right so really quick what I do is I go to the search bar hit text on the drop down and then simply capital T R A I T S traits I hit the find button one, two times. Move this out the way. Okay. And then here is the general location of all the traits. Okay. How you know it's a trait, you're going to look for a line of Fs, just like this. Okay. And the number that you're going to need to change is going to be right here. Okay, just trying to, there you go, all right, so line of Fs, this will be the number that you change, okay, now, depending on the location of the Fs, sometimes you might have numbers here, or you might have some numbers here. You always want to make sure that you're looking for the line of F's before making any changes, okay? It's real simple. You can see here, that's the number I need to change. Here's the line, and then right below it, line of F's, okay? Very simple. 
Now, as you can see here, I've already modified everything to have 100, st 100 points in each of my trades. So that's why I'm not changing anything at the moment. The number for the hex ID for 100 is 64. And the um, hex ID for level 250, if you decide you want to do that, is uh, FA. Okay? If you decide you want to go anywhere between 1 and 250, the simplest way to figure it out would be to simply Google the number in hex. It'll give it to you instantly, okay? All right. And with that, that brings us to the end of the video. As I mentioned earlier, if you all have not picked up this game already for free as a PlayStation Plus member, I highly recommend that you do. It's a Souls game in every sense of the word, but, you know, with slight differences and so on and so forth, you know, with the gun combat and things like that. But it's a Souls game through and through. And I absolutely love it. And if you're a Souls fan like me, you'll absolutely love it too. Now, if you guys got any questions, comments, or concerns, you already know what to do. I'm going to go kill some monsters. So I'm going to holler at y'all later. Casa, out.